Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the one day tournament for January 11th, 2014. This is Shadow 363. And we have just seen a match between Sackcloth and Lori. A bunch of other matches were played at the same time as well. And the match we're doing now is God vs. Magman, Group I, to the very top of round two. Cube and Flipstep are still a little bit delayed, so they aren't going to be playing quite yet, but we will get to them when they get to them. And I think Se and Sebir and Nork are in the middle of their matches. So, going with God vs. Magman. And that will be starting now. So, Magman in the southwest corner of the map going for hovers, while God is in the northeast corner going for tanks. Now, Magman is definitely the underdog here, as I was saying last match. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Actually, I suppose it's not my fault, because I'm not the one who randomized the brackets. But, still, my sympathies. Because God, as you can see from the LO ratings, is the best player in the game. Now, if Magman is able to turn this around, that would be a wonder that would be a great upset. It'd be a very dramatic upset. But God is definitely the one who's basically the favorite to win. Magman's the underdog, so if you like rooting for the underdog, that's the guy to root for right now. We'll see who it is after this, but definitely Magman is gonna have an uphill battle to get through this. Now, Magman going for Scrubber's an interesting choice against well, against tanks. Apparently, scalpels are actually the better option when it comes to dealing with tanks, but admittedly, Magman did not know that there were tanks coming in. And this is mostly when Panthers come in. Now, God has not started building Panthers yet. He has a Kodachi, which is primary raider, but getting a welder next. Once he gets Panthers, though, it's really hard to deal with. Panthers are great at stun locking because they're a powerful EMP weapon and fairly high rate of fire. And they're quite cheap as far as heavy tank units go, so it's difficult to keep a good army against them. Because this gets stun locked and killed. Well, the Kodachis are much more useful for getting rid of single structures. They're okay for getting rid of single units because they can set them on fire and deal a lot of damage that way. But they're primarily for getting rid of single metal extractors. I mean, one shot gets rid of a metal extractor. So you just get in, fire a metal extractor, run away, wait till reload, get the next metal extractor. Panthers are actually a great counter to Kodachis. But given that Magman's not playing heavy tanks, it doesn't matter so much. He needs to worry about what the best hovercraft counter is. And right now... He's going for absolutely nothing. Losing a Metal Extractor right away and dealing a fair amount of damage to the Kodachi, but not enough. At the same time, these Scrubbers are taking care of a lot what's going on in the north. Magman doing a pretty good job harassing, actually. This is amusingly what God would normally do. The funniest part about all this is that God is the one who typically goes for hovercrafts on Red Comet. He very much enjoys doing that. Goes for about four or five Scrubbers and just uses their high alpha to kill everything in one shot. And the Panthers have come! The Panthers have come into the game. God is putting Magman on the back foot as a result. Not to mention the economy harassment that's been going on. Getting rid of all of Magman's metal extractors. Except the ones further inland. But he's t dealing a lot of damage to Magman right now. And at the same time, Magman has been doing some harassment. But not anywhere near as much as God has been doing to Magman. Though admittedly, Reclaim is the biggest thing that's been going for God right now. In fact, they're about even in economy. It just, there was a lot more Reclaim that God had than Magman. And Magman is taking advantage of Reclaim, but that's of his Metal Extractor, so it's not the biggest deal. He is not going for Scrubbers, however. He's going for, sorry, he's going for Scrubbers, not Scalpels. He needs Scalpels in order to deal with the Panthers. Scrubbers are going to have a very hard time dealing with them. They just won't kill them in time. I mean, I suppose if he had half a dozen Scrubbers or so, it would be okay. And very nice micro by God on this Kodachi. And there come the Panthers, getting rid of the Scrubber and taking... Hardly, maybe 10% damage from that one scrubber. That was two shots, too. So it would take about 20 scrubbers to one shot a panther. And that's, of course, assuming that the scrubbers even get in range, which isn't a safe assumption. The scrubbers cannot actually deal a whole lot of damage to a panther. Actually, sorry, that was one shot. But still, 10 scrubbers would have to get in and actually hit. So it looks like Magman isn't quite sure what to do right now. Going for maces instead, that's not a surprising choice. Maces have a lot of firepower, but they don't deal a whole lot of damage quickly. The Scrubber has the advantage because it just fires the missiles, and then it doesn't even have to be there. As long as the missiles are in flight, which they will be, it'll hit. And the missiles deal quite a bit of damage, so three or four Scrapples will just get rid of a single Panther easily, and with a bit of splash damage, actually, so it'll get rid of a clump if they're there. Unit. And at the same time, God has been expanding pretty solidly to the north and harassing pretty solidly to the south. And the Panthers are coming in, hitting the Metal Extractor, getting rid of one Metal Extractor, and putting... Magman in a really uncomfortable position. That mace looks like it had been cancelled, in fact. That is no longer there. So, Scrubbers, once again, that's all Magman is going for. I'm sure Magman is wondering frantically what to do right now. 
The answer is scalpels. Although, admittedly, if he starts building scalpels, one might suspect he's watching the stream. I don't see him on the viewers list. Though, I doubt he actually is. But... This is definitely something to worry about for Magman. He needs to know how to deal with this, and he needs to know how to deal with this now, if not sooner. Actually, he has a, a chance now, but like I said, he is not en route for building scalpels. He is going to get rid of this Kodachi, however. He's going to stop that raid, but that really doesn't matter at this point. Right now, what he worry is worried about is this Panther pair, but really much more coming in. There are so far four Panthers on the map. Possibly better to be three if Magman's commander stopped being stunlocked for any period of time. But it looks like that is not going to be the case. However, the Scrubbers are coming into support from behind, getting rid of that one Panther. The second Panther going to go down fairly quickly afterwards, and it looks like... At the same time, down goes Magman's commander with the energy cell, and God at this point has three times the economy. He has... He is comfortable. He is doing just fine. If you look at what he has on the map right now. It is... I mean, all the... Oh, whoops. All the red, that is God. All the blue, that is Magman. And Magman only has about five metal extractors to God's 14 or so. So, that's... I know I should say 16, because, you know, divided by two, but I imagine there's... There looks like there's some reclaim going on as well. So, yeah, basically, 14 to 18 metal extractors for God, with only about five for Magman. This is very difficult for Magman to deal with, especially with the Panthers coming in. The Scrubbers are really doing nothing. He is continuing to pump out Scrubbers, possibly assuming that with enough numbers he'll be able to take care of the Panthers. This is not true, and in fact, God now starting to push more welders, and from here he's going to be able to get a lot of build power in his factory. He's going to be able to get about 30 build power in there, and with that it's going to be 10 seconds per Panther. Within a minute there'll be half a dozen Panthers, and that'll be more than enough to take out everything that Magman has. I reiterate, I am sorry. <laughs> I mean, someone has to play God, but it's just... Yeah, it, I imagine this is very nerve-wracking for Magman. And it kind of shows. Although, like I said, I'm not sure if Magman is aware that the counter is probably going to be scalpels, because that's kind of a recent thing people discovered. And Magman throws in the towel. That is game, so the first game goes to Scud. That, that's how it goes. So we'll have a second game shortly. Stay tuned. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to game two of God vs. Magman. Now, God vs. Magman's group I, and that is... So far, God has won one game, which is not a surprise, being that God is the best player in the game. Magman went for a lot of scrubbers against tanks, against panthers, and that did not work out. But right now, we are going to be on Altair Crossing, and that is... Lose Altair Crossing. Okay, anyway, we're going to be on what I'm pretty sure is Altair Crossing. Yep, that's right. Okay, Altier Crossing, and God in the west corner of the map, Magman in the east corner of the map, and both players going for shields in this map. And where's the reclaim? There's the reclaim. God going for very quick reclaim with convicts. Magman not going for quick reclaim, going for very quick dirt bags in both cases. Actually, no, just in Magman's case. Hmm. I get the feeling Magman is a team game player, just because his raiding game seems to be a little bit... Well unusual. Admittedly, Dirtbag is just unusual, period. I don't know if that's a team game thing or just a general... You sort of see for scouting from time to time, but not very often. Anyway, it's not a bad scout, given its health. It's just that normally you just go for raiding, and on this map, a lot of reclaim. It's Convict not being used for reclaim. Magman is not actually making the most of it. God, on the other hand, is making the most of his reclaim. Taking a lot of reclaim to deal with this. And also terraforming to make sure that he has enough room to get his bots out of the factory efficiently. Well, at the same time... Oh, never mind. Yeah, dirtbag, that's the thing. That's one of the things you use a dirtbag, is to block off factories you so that your opponent can't easily get units out of it, but that is not something that you see very often nowadays. No one really bothers to do that anymore, especially since dirtbags do actually block bots. 
He used to only block vehicles, which meant you just use against vehicles and just frustrate them to no end. Anyway, God doing a nice job harassing, getting rid of one of the convicts. Second convict able to escape, but still, God able to get rid of that metal extractor. And I'm a bit surprised, I really am surprised Magman's not reclaiming. He has no reclaim, he has some reclaim going on for his commander. Finally getting reclaim on this convict. Getting outlaws up as well. I am very surprised he's going so quickly for heavy. He probably will go for Thug Felon. That's my likely guess. God, on the other hand, getting a lot of convicts up for reclaim. Not even worried about his raider game. He's got got a battle comp set up. Getting a few bandits just in case. But he seems like it's pretty clear that Magman is not going for raiding. And there's enough bandits around just in case. Just to scout out in case Magman decides to expand a bit more. So God is raiding enough for what Magman's doing. And Magman is not raiding at all. He is, like I said, going for the late game. Focusing, getting a lot of thugs. Trying to expand out and just deal with these bandits a bit more effectively using thugs and outlaws. Outlaws is the bigger one than thugs, though. Really, bandits are the best counter you're going to have at the at this point. Outlaws can slow them down and deal a fair amount of damage, but they aren't going to outright kill them on their own. However, slowing them down does mean the thugs have an easier time hitting them. That is important. That being said, God is going to be coming in with a fairly strong bandit force in the looks of it. Just setting himself up. Looks like he's setting himself up for a bit of an attack. And that would be fairly effective if he were to come in right now. There are two laser turrets, but if he comes in at the right angle, north or south directly, that'll work out. And it looks like, well, Magman's able to get rid of some of God's harassment forces that are scouting around the map. But that just tells God where Magman is. And like I said, God is doing a great job with the reclaim. Great job just setting himself up after the reclaim too. Making sure he's not entirely relying on reclaim. While Magman has been reclaiming a bit. He is getting into the reclaim game, but it was kind of late. However, it might still work out. He's just not got as many convicts. I mean, nowhere near as many convicts. God has has about half a dozen convicts just entirely set up for dealing with this. While on the other hand, Magman has like two. Or maybe one, actually. I think he only has... He's got to have more than one. Yeah, he's got... Nope, he's got one. That's it. That's all he has. He has a convict and a commander. And coming to the center, this is the moment of truth in terms of these thugs here, and the band is doing a pretty good job. The outlaw not in range, and certainly not under the shields of the thug. Not getting any protection whatsoever. Magman probably didn't expect to find God had already taken the center so quickly. And God not just taking the center, taking the south and the north as well. Well, taking over the south for metal and sending a convict up to the north early has a bandit to keep that in check. While Magman is... Getting himself more convicts, and it looks like he's possibly trying to power into more thugs and a felon, I'm guessing. But it's going to be hard for him to actually pull that off. God able to get rid of Magman's bandits with basically no losses on his side. And Magman building up some roaches. Okay, he's getting a bit more into raiding. He's not sticking to a heavy-oriented game. Trying to get rid of these bandits all in one fell swoop with the roach. Possibly get rid of the center with the roach, but that wouldn't work very well. I mean, he could thug protect it. That's the thing. He could have it under the thug shield, and it actually would work pretty well. But I don't know if he's planning on doing that. Sending to the, No, he's sending to the south. He wants to make sure that he's able to get rid of... No, he's directly attacking the bandits. Making sure he can actually get to the bandits. But now setting up as a landmine. Getting the outlaw in position, but... It, like I said, doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. Deals some... Main advantage is to slow down the bandit enough that the thugs might have a chance to hit it, but even then they don't really have a chance to hit it. That bandit is just too fast. He needs bandits of his own. He really does need bandits of his own. And there comes the felon. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. However, for only three thugs, that isn't going to work for... Actually, not even three thugs at this point, because the roach is coming in, taking care of one of them, and heavily damaging the other two, right under their shields. And another roach coming in for God. That's going to finish off these thugs. It won't, they won't have any chance of dealing with this. Both thugs go down. That roach is basically going to win the game for God at this point. I mean... And a singer being built in the north as well for no good reason. And it looks like a roach attempt happened from Magman to the south. But Magman's roach is in his base. Could be useful. But the thing is, this felon is the only thing available, really, for Magman. And he had those thugs. And he was clearly planning on using them. But he needs to build a lot of thugs. If he wants to make that strategy work, you need about a dozen thugs to really make it impenetrable. And when you're dealing with roaches, it's actually hard to make it impenetrable even then. They're kind of the counter to it. Or at least they do a really good job dealing with it. But at this point, that is not likely to happen. It looks like 
failure imminent. Magman is really getting pincered in. I mean, God just has more than half the map. He has, as you can see, quite a lot of the map right now, and a great deal of the economy as well belongs to God. While Magman, on the other hand, he's got... He's not too far behind in terms of metal income, but he is very far behind in terms of map control and military. Now, at the same time, God sending in about not quite a dozen thugs, but definitely close. He could set up a felon and easily make this work out. A bunch of bandits coming in to help out the felon. Not really sure why when you deal with felon, you need to have a lot of shield recharging tools. And thugs are really the best bet for adding that much more offensive power as well. But nope, Convict is helping it out. The Felon is going to the south, and looks like it's trying to deal with the stuff to the south, the bandits to the south. But as soon as Magman attacks, he's going to flank. He's going to try to flank, and God's going to go in from the center. Like, Magman's going to do... Actually, I don't want to draw because I have a spectacle. Tell everyone else, but... Magman is going to go down here, and God's going to go in. There we go. God is moving in, and Magman trying to get back up, but... God well aware of that flank. I mean... God at this point probably has radar coverage. Yeah, he's radar coverage of Magman's entire base. The only thing he doesn't have radar coverage of are these wind gens up here. Everything else, God is fully aware of. And Magman, on the other hand, has some radar coverage, but not a whole lot. The blue border being the radar coverage, and that is not helping on Magman. At this point, Magman is also in a pretty tight spot. He does have his felon, but nowhere near enough shields to support it. And God, on the other hand, is going for a gunship switch to Brawlers. Interesting choice, but... At this point, I don't even know if it matters what is done. Now, Magman well aware of this happening. He knows that there is Brawlers. He is going for, or at least likely to be an air switch. He is going for Vandals. And a Roach, that doesn't do much. Like I said, you need to shield it. You need to have the Thug or the Felon on top of that Roach to shield it to prevent it from being damaged as it gets close to the Thugs. But that is not going to happen. And God moving forward with his Battle Con and his Thugs. And that is basically going to do it for him. The Felon able to take out one of the Thug shields, but that's about it. There isn't a whole lot, like I said, of shield support for this Felon. Now, like I said, if God threw out a Felon, it'd be fine, but it doesn't matter. God coming in for the kill. I don't even know if Magman's going to be lasting in this for any length of time. No, it looks like Magman about to lose his factory. Well, about to lose a lot of his wind generators around the factory, which does not help. And he is about to lose the factory itself pretty soon. Is he trying to terraform the factory up above the ground? No, he's not. doesn't matter. It is game. Magman has lost the series. That is the game. That is the series. So, once again, I'm sorry, Magman. I'm really, really sorry. So, at this point, we have... No real change. God versus Magman. God 1-2-0. And none of the other games have been played or finished off yet. So, looks like... Oh, never mind. Cubay is on. We will be having Sponge versus Cubay probably the next game. I'm not sure where that is. Need to double check. Just point out these are being done across several rooms at the same time. So, where is... So, anyway, once that's up, we'll have probably the Sponge versus Cubay next, and the winner of that will be playing Lorio. And from there... Norman Nork's match is probably nearly done. So once that's done, then we will have from there essentially a well, a nearly complete well, nearly set up quarterfinals. The round of 16 is just about finished. And we've seen one of the quarterfinals matches already, so back shortly once we get the Spongebob's QB organized. Stay tuned.